Hey everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a floating island in Unreal Engine. This is the same technique that I used in my video where I remade the Kingdom of Zeal from Chrono Trigger. If you haven't seen that video and you're a fan of Chrono Trigger, I highly recommend it. Alright, let's get started. In order to use this technique, you're going to need three key items. A group of rock static meshes, a landscape auto material, and an alpha brush texture for landscape sculpting. The assets you see in this video have been purchased from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, and I'll link them in the description. If you're not wanting to spend money, there are many free assets available in the Marketplace that should help you achieve a similar result. You'll want to begin building the lower half of the island by placing your rock meshes in the level. The good thing about building land formations is that they can be random. You can spend as little or as much time on this part depending on the result you're looking for. It's a good idea to reduce the size of your rock meshes to make the building process faster. Our next step will be to increase the meshes to the desired size. Alright, now we're going to attach the rocks to a shape in order to resize them while keeping their position. Bring in a shape mesh, I chose a sphere but it can be any shape you like, and place it near your island. With the shape now deselected, select all of the rocks and right click on one of the rocks. Scroll down to Attach To and find your shape that you placed in the level. Once attached, you can now resize and move your shape and your rocks will follow. When you're finished, feel free to delete the shape mesh. Let's move on to adding the landscape. Start by placing your landscape just below the top of your rocks. Reduce the number of components at the bottom of your landscape window until your landscape is extending just one component's width past each side of your island. Select your layers for your auto material and create the landscape. We're going to switch to an alpha brush to begin sculpting. While in Sculpt mode, change the shape of your brush using the drop-down, which can be found at the top of your viewport. It will initially say Circle, but for our purposes, we'll want to change it to Alpha and then locate the brush we want to use. Adjust your brush's strength as needed and resize your brush. Next, go around your island and create an outline of the top of your island by pressing once on your mouse as you go around. Once that is completed, switch to the Visibility tool which can be found in the same bar above the viewport while in Sculpt mode. Not all materials are created equal, and you may run into an issue where your material doesn't allow you to use the Visibility tool. In order to fix this, you'll want to access the Master Material and do two things. First, change the Blend Mode on the lower left-hand side of your screen to Masked. Then, right-click in the Blueprint window and search for Landscape Visibility Mask. Select it and plug it into the Opacity Mask node. Don't forget to hit Apply like I did or else your landscape may change colors. Now we can go around the outline we've created and mask out the unnecessary parts of the landscape. Once we're done masking, switch to Select Mode and move your landscape above your island, and then switch back to Landscape Mode once you're finished. We're going to sculpt our landscape down into the rocks. You'll want to hold down the Shift key while sculpting to achieve this. Try not to sculpt down too far as this may be more time consuming to mask out and could result in your materials to stretch. Now for the most tedious part of this process, we need to switch back to the visibility tool and mask out the remaining parts of the landscape that we don't need. Just like with building the island, you can spend as little or as much time on this as you see fit. If you're not going to be traveling from island to island in your game, you may not need to take the time and mask out all of the parts of the landscape that your character can't see.
quick note, if your landscape has procedural foliage already applied to it, you'll need to remove that from the masked out parts of the island. Most auto materials that have this feature provide a layer that you can highlight while in paint mode to remove the foliage. I did encounter a landscape that had procedural foliage applied and did not provide a way to remove it. My solution was to paint on a layer that didn't apply the foliage, which I found in this case was the dirt layer. Okay, now let's change the color of our rocks to match our landscape. Hopefully the materials for the static meshes you are using have material instances that allow you to change the color. You can use the eyedropper tool in the color window to sample your landscape color from your viewport. To get the color just right, you may need to make adjustments depending on what your material instance allows you to do. Once your color is set, your floating island is ready to go. Now all you need to do is place whatever you want on top of the island. Because we used a landscape on the top, you can sculpt mountains, hills, add sections for body of water, whatever you want. You can duplicate your island and tweak it in order to have multiple islands in your level. If you want to create some islands in the distance that your character will never travel to, you can just use one rock mesh and put some trees on it. Alright, I think it's looking pretty good. Well, that's it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more tutorials for Unreal Engine, be sure to click the like button or let me know in the comments. If you saw something in this video and know a better way to approach it, let me know in the comments as well. Alright everybody, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.